the next question from Afia, India. Is COVID-19 a punishment from Allah or is it a test? If it's a punishment, then what new sins have we done in this era, which even our ancestors haven't done, that has made Allah angry with us? Let me first tell you the basic uh, guideline and outline that whenever there is a calamity, whether it be an epidemic, whether it be a pandemic, whether it be floods, whether it be rains, whether it be an earthquake, any calamity, it can either be a punishment or it can be a test. If the people are sinful, then most probably this is a punishment for them. In that same area, there may be people who are very good, who are very pious, who may be praying five times a day, may be following the aqam of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet, and even they are affected. So in such cases, if you are on the straight path and are not doing any sins, then this, this calamity, it's a test for you. So at the same time, that same calamity can be a punishment for some people, can be a test for some people. If you are on the straight path, it's a test, and Allah is testing you that if Allah is giving you difficulties, yet do you worship Allah or not? Yet do you thank Allah or not? So these calamities are a reminder to us to get you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it can be both. So you yourself can decide whether this calamity is a punishment or a test. If you are far away from the deen, if you are breaking the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you are away from the sunnah, then be sure this is a punishment. If you are on the straight path, you are offering five times salah, you have given a zakat, you are fasting, you are following the five pillars and all the ahkam of the Quran, then rest assured that this is a test for you and as the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 7, hadith number 5734, Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet said that, that the Prophet said that Allah has sent the plague as a punishment on whom he wishes amongst the unbelievers. But for the believers, it is a blessing. And if the believers remain in that affected place of plague with sincere faith and agreeing that whatever happens will happen with the will of Allah and having faith in the Qadr, then he will get the reward of a martyr. This is mainly for plague, but can be extended to other diseases as far as the reward is concerned. Regarding a question, yes, it can be a punishment, it can be a test. Regarding a question, that what new things have we done in this age that Allah has sent this calamity? I mean, I believe the world every day is going far and far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's going more and more further away. And you see what was in the past, today is something different. The fayashi is increasing, the obscenity is increasing, the zina is increasing, homosexuality is increasing, and you see that there are many of the signs of the Akhur Zama on my Facebook, if you go, I'm doing the signs to, of the ends of the world. And there are three sections to it. There's the minor signs and the major signs. The minor signs are divided into minor signs that have already occurred and minor signs that have not yet occurred for the end of the world. I finished the minor signs that have already occurred and minor signs that have not occurred. Inshallah, after Ramadan, I'll continue with the major signs of the end of the world and there are 10 major signs which have got sub signs in it. And as the Hadith says that there will be time when women would be clothed but would appear naked. They'll wear clothes, but actually they'll not be wearing clothes. You know, and you find now today people, the ladies wearing dresses, they are so short, most of the body seen, they were transparent and all these things. So there is so much of ayash, there's so much of obscenity, there's so much of, and it's become more public. Previously, yes, maybe it was done on an individual level, it was done on a society level, but not in all over the world. Today, you can see on the television channels, you can see on the social media, you can see on the Facebook, you can see on the YouTube. So it has increased to epidemic level, or sorry, pandemic level. Because all the social media is available throughout the world. Therefore, I'm saying pandemic level. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he keep away from all these major sins and also the minor sins and save us 
from the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and let us have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and let this be a test for us so that we come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.